Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today is Wednesday and uh, we are actually in Iowa City right now because Kira just picked up her glasses <laughs> and I picked up my new glasses. So uh, I thought I would take you with me today on a day in the life. I am, uh, I have this morning off actually and I'm working uh, from home this afternoon. So we just came up here to get our glasses uh, that we ordered a couple weeks ago. Kira, this is her first time having glasses, so she's pretty excited about that. She says she can see a lot clearer now. So, uh, and then my prescription changed, and I also got some new uh, glasses as well. So, I think right now we're gonna run to Starbucks and maybe get some breakfast, and then uh, go home. And I have to start work at 11:30 this morning. All right, so it's about 10.30. Uh, we just got home a little bit ago. Uh, I wanna show you guys what I'm planning on making for dinner later tonight, and also uh, a box that I got in the mail yesterday, and then I'm gonna get to work for the day. So I have some tortellini in the garage refrigerator that I'm going to make for dinner. And um, this is actually a recipe from Dinnerly, which is a new uh, meal kit that I'm trying out. I'm planning on doing another video of four different meal kits and which one is the best. I had fun doing the last one. So I just have some of the pork sausage that I took out of the freezer. I'm going to put that with some tortellini and make some homemade tomato sauce and um, put it with some mozzarella cheese and bake it for dinner. So I need to put that in the freezer because it's mostly, or in the fridge because it's mostly thawed out now. And then I also got our variety fun box yesterday. So I wanted to just share with you guys what was in it for this month. This is not sponsored, uh, but they do send this to me every month along with a coupon code for you guys. So I'll put the exact amount off on the screen and I'll also include the link in the coupon code down below if you want to try it out. Uh, we, I've actually bought this for myself before they started sending this to me and I really enjoy it along with the rest of the family. So there's some different things in here this month, some pretzels, pop chips, white cheddar Cheez-Its, I love these barbecue pot chips. Um, they send a really good variety, I think, of both sweet and savory snacks. And I just like having this because it makes it easier for us to keep, like, well, like it says, a variety of snacks in the house without buying, you know, a whole box of one item or something like that. So we've really been enjoying this. Um, I'm probably going to put this away right now. And then I also need to. Um, get my dishwasher loaded because I have a few dishes left from dinner last night that didn't get washed. So it is about quarter after noon and I am now eating my lunch. Um, I posted this meal idea in a meal prep video um, just a few days ago. So I'll link that video down below. But this is one of the egg bites that I got from Costco. I just um, paired it with a hash brown patty that I made in my waffle maker and some cottage cheese. And this has been my breakfast meal prep for this week. Uh, even though it's closer to lunch now, but I didn't eat anything for breakfast. I just had a nice latte. So this is what I'm eating for brunch today, I guess. It's almost two and I feel like I have a little bit of a sweet craving, but I don't want 
like to have any calories of sweetness, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I'm gonna have an espresso. This is the Hazelino muffin. It's really good. I wouldn't say that it's sweet, um, but it has a hazelnut flavor, and then I'll probably steam some oat milk to go with it. I talked about this in one of my last videos, but I did get this Nespresso um, coffee machine on Amazon, which I'll link down below, but I totally love it. Connor, can you help me put the dishes away? <laughs> it's part of your chores. I'm done working. It is 3.30. I'm gonna make myself some of this orange, orange, um, orangeade mango. This is really good. I have a glass of ice water right here. Do you have something to say? Gatorade. Gatorade. So I have a vid a vid a video that I want to edit and it's super nice outside so I went ahead and put up the umbrella and I'm going to sit out here and do it. It is uh, about quarter to 4 and I'd like to probably start cooking dinner in about 45 minutes. So I'm going to see how much I can get done. It's a weekend prep video so it takes me longer <laughs> to edit those and this is my snack right now. I need to go to Costco and get more of these um, popcorners chips if you never had them they're really good this came in the variety fun box but they also have huge boxes of these at Costco and they come in like white cheddar cow corn which is really good and um, I think just like plain salted but they're only 130 calories a bag and you get a lot of chips in there actually Okay, so I would say I got about half of this video edited, which is not bad. It's 4.40, I'm gonna go in and start cooking dinner. All right, so I have my Italian sausage browning up in this big skillet here. It's been a while since I talked about this big skillet, but it's Cuisinart and I love it. Um, I bought it on Amazon like I do everything else, so <laughs> I'll link that down below, but it's a great skillet because it goes from the stovetop into the oven, which is what I need for this recipe. So I have those link sausages. I took them out of the casing and I'm just browning them and crumbling them up with my meat chopper. And then I added two teaspoons of oregano. I'm gonna add four cloves of garlic that I'm gonna crush with my garlic press. Probably some salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of red pepper flake. And then the original recipe says to cut the tomatoes with a, um, kitchen shears but I am going to use my stick blender because I would rather have it more pureed. Okay, so here's my sauce. I tasted it. It's really very good. Um, 
I added a little bit of sugar to cut the acidity, some salt, pepper, a little bit of extra oregano, and one cup of water. And then the recipe calls to stir the tortellini um, directly into this uncooked and then you cover it and bake it so instead of boiling the tortellini it just cooks in the sauce so i'm going to cover this and then this will go in the oven for about 15 minutes i feel like super brave today because i'm cooking in a white shirt and i'm making tomato sauce so um i made like a little vinaigrette in this bowl right here it is a white balsamic vinegar and olive oil, a little bit of sugar, salt and pepper. I have some tomatoes there for the salad. And then this is some spinach that I had previously washed up, so that's gonna go in there. Here is some, I can't think, mozzarella cheese shredded that's gonna go on top of the tortellini. And then, do you guys know what Bosco sticks are? Apparently these are a thing in school cafeterias. I don't know. I don't ever remember these. I didn't really eat a whole lot of school lunch when I was a kid, but I found these at Walmart and I thought they'd be a fun side for dinner tonight. So it's the breadsticks stuffed with mozzarella cheese. So those are in the oven um, baking with the pasta right now. So let me just say, I just sampled the Bosco sticks and they're delicious. Five out of five would buy again. Here's a trick for you. If you want to prep a salad, but it did not to get soggy, make your dressing in the bottom of the bowl then put like your tomatoes and cucumbers in there and then just put the spinach or whatever grains on top and then stick it in the fridge like this and then when you're ready to eat, you can just toss it together and you don't have to worry about everything getting soggy before dinner. Look at that. That looks delicious. I'm excited to eat this. Okay, I just pulled this out of the oven. I put the mozzarella cheese on top. Uh, it is 535 and we're gonna get ready to eat soon. Soon, Murphy. eat spinach spinach salad spinach salad and tortellini and breadstick I failed huh, I got sauce on my shirt so I'm in the drive-thru at McDonald's because Adam was like you know what sounds really good right now is a uh, diet coke from McDonald's and I'm like yeah that does sound good <laughs> we didn't have any diet coke or diet pepsi at home so I'm like yeah I don't have anything else to do Right now, I'll just go run through the drive-thru. So, uh, it's 7.40 right now, and we're getting ourselves some Diet Cokes. This is decaf, don't worry. Hey, can you help me take the trash out? What are boy carriers called? Dave's? Dave's? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, so Adam helped me take the trash out and I just got my video published. <laughs> it's 10.30. I don't usually like publishing videos this late. Um, like I know people on the West Coast are probably still up and I know that there's people in lots of areas of the world that watch my videos. So um, I, I understand that some people are just gonna watch whenever they have time, no matter what, you know? But um, I normally try to post them somewhere between 6 and 8 p.m. Central Time. That's when I find that most people are online to watch them, at least for my audience. But um, like tonight, the video I was editing just took so much longer <laughs> than I thought. It was a weekend prep video. So anyway, um, I'm going to get ready to go to bed. I'm going to go upstairs and wash my face. I actually um, I have to go to work in the morning, so I need to get up at probably five at the latest it's 10 30 now so um everyone always one of the questions i always get is how do you get so much done and the answer is i don't sleep no i'm just kidding i do sleep um 
if I go to bed at 11 and get up at five, that's six hours of sleep. I'm, I'm fine for that. So anyway, thanks you guys for following along with me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Night night.